page i'm going to be showing you how to remove index pages of your website from the google search results right so um this is a client's website it was recently hacked and um, the hackers injected some malicious scripts on the website and you check the website search results you're going to see a lot of creepy and spammy pages let me show you and um, a very good way to actually check out all the um, pages of your website that are indexed on google a very cool trick to do go about checking that is just to search site column uh, open quotation and type the website url so i just copy the website url here and paste it here and um, close the quotation and search it's actually going to pull up all your index pages on Google right so you can see here it's telling me I have like um, 650 results for this website and I don't have this much pages so the malicious script this hackers injected on the website um, created multiple pages so I I want to delete those pages go to your Google search console just search Google search console basically and come and log in with your email address it will bring you to this dashboard over here so it brings you to this dashboard you can actually check performance here and um, scroll down and you can see queries over here and you can see pages over here these are all the pages your Google search console registers that are indexed but they are not actually all the pages indexed on the Google search engine so um, if you scroll down here it's telling me there are around 89 pages right so you can see those spammy pages are still here very crazy these are pages I created I recognize these pages I can recognize the contact us I can um, recognize the study in Ireland but all these spammy pages here I need to get rid of them right so how do you get rid of these pages um, I'm going to show you so um, you would actually want to download these pages because it's going to save in a CSV file for you so if you click this download button here is going to download a CSV version of the file. I will show you how you can. Uh, there are two ways you can go about deleting the pages. You can delete the pages individually, and you can delete the pages in bulk. Like if I want to get rid of all the pages that are indexed, I can download the whole pages, or copy the URL of all the pages indexed and delete them from the Google search results, right, or the Google search engine entirely. So. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it individually and how to do it in bulk, right? So I would prefer you use the old Google Search Console. This is a new Google Search Console. They updated it to a new version. But if you're doing this, I would prefer you, after downloading this with the new version, I would want you to use the old version to actually delete the pages because it's, it's easier to navigate, right? So um, come down over here to go to the old, go to the old version and click old version so it's, it's going to take you to the old version of the Google search console um, I don't know my internet is a little bit bad today so i uh, come to Google index here click Google index and come to remove URLs and uh, click remove URLs so you can see I had submitted a, re um, a request to remove all these URLs you can see status removed all this very see can you see spammy URLs everywhere I had submitted a request to remove them so if let's say now you use this future I showed you by using site column open um, quotation and uh, you actually put pulled up a list of all your index pages and let's say you want to get rid of this one particularly or let me go down let me scroll down let me scroll down you can see there are a lot of pages here to do with a lot of pages so you can see here the Google search console was streaming 89 pages and the Google search results is showing me 650 pages. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's crazy. So if I search the last page here, let's say I want to get rid of this page. You might not have much pages like this, but you just want to get rid of a couple of pages. So let me show you the first method on how to get rid of the pages individually. So you open another, um, open the link in another tab, open the link in another. Copy the link of the page and copy to your Google search results and click temporarily hide. So when you click this, you paste the link, click continue. Here. So you sent submit request, right? So you submit request. It's, it's telling me over here that um, blah blah blah. HTTPS. That's the link. The URL 
has been added for removal. You can see it here, the, the status is suspended for this particular link to be removed, right? So, um, what if you want to get rid of the pages in bulk? Let's say I want to get rid of all the pages in bulk. And um, I had downloaded a CSV um, file of all the pages, right? So, uh, you actually need a Chrome extension to enable you to uh, delete the pages in bulk. You need a, I'll, I'll drop a link below to the Chrome extension so you could install the Chrome extension. But how do you install the Chrome extension? Basically, you click, you go to your Chrome extensions over here. Um, go to more tools, come to extensions, check the developer mode, make sure it's active, right? And you come down to load unpacked. So you click the load unpacked and you find the plugin itself. This is the plugin over here. This is Google uh, Webmaster Tool Bulk URL Remover. So you will install the plugin. I have it installed already, but I'll drop a link below for you to get access to the plugin. So um, you install the plugin. After installing the plugin, so I what I will just do now is I will come and activate my. You can see it here, Webmaster Tool Bulk URL Remover. So I would I would activate mine. If I activate it, it brings this uh, bucket, uh, green bucket um, icon over here. You can see it over on my Chrome extension list here. So and I go back to the search um, Google Search Console and I refresh this page, you will see something new after refreshing this page. Okay, uh, so you have to be patient. Um, still loading, I guess. So you can see it has added a new feature, remove page from search results and cache. And I can choose a file, a CSV file with all the pages listed and it will get rid of the pages automatically, right? So let me show you how to do that. So let's say, for instance, I click this. Uh, where did I save those pages? Okay, download. Scroll down to my downloads. I think the page is somewhere around here. I think there's a page here, over here. Okay, I think there's a page over here. So I, I click this and I open and automatically the CSV file is uploaded. You can see it begins to submit a request for all the pages I downloaded from the new version of the Google Search Console. It begins to send a request to delete the pages. You can see, but I had sent this request before, so it's, it's, it's not gonna work that way, right? Because I sent the request to remove these pages. So you can see, removal request has been sent already. You can see it's giving me the problem because I had already sent all these requests before. I will show you something else. If, if if you can remember the so how do I stop these things from loading I just come to the Chrome extension over here I just come to the Chrome extension and uncheck this uncheck the developer mode right okay so you can see uh, it, it, it actually would pause the essential from functioning. See the Google Search Console, if I go back to the new version of the Google Search Console, it's going to show me I have only 89 index pages. But you can see here on the, by using this feature here, it's telling me I have, um, uh, let me see. Okay, let me search again. Using this feature. It's telling me I have 650 results for this website. But if I s use the Google Search Console over here, coming through performance and checking the pages, coming down here to the pages over here, it's telling me I have what? Uh, 89 pages indexed, which is not true. So, how do you get to, uh, how do you download or how do you get a list of all these 650 pages so that you can submit them? in bulk to be deleted from the search results because I, I the clients can't keep having this can you see all these spammy pages everywhere just everywhere I mean these hackers are crazy everywhere so I I will show you another trick on how to actually get this URL we are going to use a scripting tool it's a plugin I actually install the plugin it helps you scrape URLs from the Google search results so um, let's go over to my extensions that installed it by deactivated extension so I'll go and activate the extension over here 
at uh, is link clump. The name of the extension is link clump. So I'll drop a link to all these extensions. I'll drop a link to all the extensions so you can uh, have access to the extension. So uh, I activate this here and I come back to the Google search results over here. So you can see um, the icon for the link clump extension is over here. So so how, how do I get a list of all these pages? How do I scrape all the URLs? I'll show you. Um, click the extension over here and come to options. You need to set you need to set it to work for you. Uh, most times you see here my yours might be set to the action here might be set to open as a new tab or you want to click copied to clipboard over here. Then activation. Um, I'm using the mouse here, it's a gaming mouse, I'm using the gaming mouse here, so it allows me to use this middle button. Your mouse might not have, or you're using the trackpad on your PC, so it might not have uh, the middle, so you can set it to left click or right click using your um, the your trackpad over here, but I'm using middle, I set mine, and um, the other key you can use, uh, I'm using Z as the other key, so I have to press my middle button and press uh, my what do you call it my Z key to activate um, to activate copy the URLs for the search results right so basically so you can see advanced options here a school links with words URLs with titles that's the format then also block repeat links in selection I've checked that also so save your selection and come over to your search results over here something very important you need a google sheet for uh, the URLs you're copying from the search results to work so you come and just open a new sheet on your google open a new sheet open a blank sheet here so I can copy the URLs there right so over here I need to check my settings again. I don't get the settings. Come to options. Let me check my settings. I have something to do. Let me change it from the middle. I use uh, left click plus Z. Save it. Come over here. Yeah, it's working. Left click and Z key. So you can see it's scroll down, scroll down, just scroll down. I'm using the mouse, so it makes it very easy for me. I'm just scrolling down copy automatically actually copies so automatically copy so just come to your your open google sheet and paste ctrl v for the first just click the first box so you can see here it has pasted all the urls automatically so what you just need to do is space this out and uh, space space it out so I, you can see I have all the links over here so you can see if I scroll down it copied basically 200 links for me 200 links so I'll do the same thing I just go over here I go to the next page I'll repeat the same thing for the next page you get it so the same thing for the next page scroll down so automatically copies I just come over here to the next uh, empty box and I paste it I scroll down again it gives me how many URLs 400 URLs I go to the, the last page over here and I do the same thing do the same thing for the top the last page here and we're done so okay control V here yeah so I have a list of all the pages that are indexed. You don't need this cre crazy things here. What you need is the most important thing here are these links over here. Just highlight all this, highlight everything here for this section. I will just delete that. <coughs> so I delete all that. All the links here are intact. So I will now save this file just download a cell right 
loaded it over here you can save it as a google index files for removal for removal all right so uh, i now know where i store the files is in my download folder so now you need to reactivate the extension we we deactivated the, the last time so we come over here to the extensions let's go back to our extensions over here I think here where is it okay we need to activate the webmaster tool bulk URL remover so we activate it and make sure you activate the developer mode over here and go back to your Google search console over here mind you you need to go back to the old version of the Google search console you need to go back to the old version of the Google Search Console. It makes it very easy for you to execute the stacks with the old version. So you come down to um, Google Index and come to Remove URLs. So you're here. It's going to load up uh, the other future over here. So I will just click Choose File. Here's the file I just um, downloaded of all the pages that were indexed um, of the site. I'll click here and I open automatically it begins to submit request to get rid of the files you can see automatically they submitted the request to get rid of all the files so you can use the best trick on how to get rid of all the pages if this worked for you you can just drop it in the comment section below and um, if you need any other help with anything um, fixing your site, um, your site was hacked, um, we could help, so um, have a great time and see you around, bye. Thanks for watching, if this video was helpful and you would want other great videos on tech, growing your business and making more money online, subscribe to our channel at Brit School and click the bell notification icon so you can stay updated on upcoming videos. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn at Brit School or visit us at BritSchool.com. Have a great time and keep smashing it. Bye.